Google Chrome. Probably today we all are aware this name. If you are an Android, iOS, Mac, Windows user, you definitely must have used Google Chrome. Chrome is by far the best and feature packed browser. And Chrome is worked perfectly on all platforms. Chrome supports some experimental features and we call it Chrome Flag. With the Chrome Flag feature, you can improve the browsing experience as well as you can add some developer level features. So if you want to add this feature on your Chrome browser, then stay tuned and watch this video till the end. Hey guys, I'm your host RK and you are watching this guy. But before going to start, if you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel yet, then please hit this red subscribe button and subscribe to my channel and support me. So first of all, how to access Google Chrome flag settings. However, it's pretty easy to access Chrome settings on any device. So simply in the search box type Chrome flags. You can see it here. That's it. This is your big Chrome flag list. So now it's time to start some experiment on your Chrome browser. So first of all, how to move address bar at the bottom. So it's pretty easy in the search box under the Chrome flag setting. Simply type Chrome do it. Now in the drop down list, select enable and at the bottom you can see a relaunch option. So relaunch the Google Chrome. After relaunching you won't see any effect. So once clear the Chrome menu in the recent tab and, re and relaunch it again. That's it. Now you can see my address bar at the bottom and it looks something different and nice. Second is compact tab switcher. If you are using Chrome, you may have noticed that the tab switcher is by default in a card style. At a first glance, it looks nice. But if you have a lot of tabs open when you, it's hard to find the tab you want to use. So now how to switch between card style to compact tab? Again simply under the Chrome flag option, search accessibility tab switcher. Like the previous flags, simply enable it and relaunch the Google Chrome. Now look at this. Your tab switcher is completely changed. You can see a compact tab switcher. Now if you don't like this compact tab switcher and want to something, try anything else like horizontal tab switcher, then simply again search on flag section, type enable horizontal tab switcher. Simply enable it and relaunch the Google Chrome browser. After the relaunching, you can see a different tab switcher. And may I think it looks better than the compact tab switcher. So you can choose between these three tabs, card, compact and horizontal. Next is extra warning about insecure site. You have probably noticed that the Google Chrome show you the secure site using HTTPS with a green padlock. Now whenever you access any unsecure sites, Chrome doesn't show any color, just show you this eye icon or not secure option. But if you want a color effect or any warning icon, then you can eat. So simply again open your flag section, search mark http slash as and you know very well what the next tab. So simply enable it and relaunch your google chrome browser. Now you can see that a red icon on unsecured site. So now whenever you open any unsecured site it will show you a red icon with no secure option. New download page UI. Google Chrome current download page UI is complicated because it's hard to find the items that you need to download in the past. So if you have shared this type of issue in the past and want to leave it, try Google Chrome new download page UI. Simply access the Google Chrome flag page and search download home v2. Enable it and relaunch your Google Chrome browser. That's it. Now you can see new download page UI and it's look much better than the previous download page UI. Next is simplified reader mode. So if you want to read any web page or post without the ads, without any distraction, then you can simply search reader mode trigger in the chrome flag option. Select your desired option. Here I prefer you always option. So select the always option. Reload the google chrome browser. Now whenever you load any web page, you can see a so simplified view option like this tap on it and your web page open a new reading mode and you can also change the back page background color light dark and sepia and as well as adjust the font size next is new context menu the normal context menu you can enable by long pressing on any link image or videos 
basically it show you all the required option but it look boring or outdated so you want to try new contact menu then simply search enable custom contact menu in the flag section and enable it that's it now after relaunching you can see a new contact menu on your google chrome now you can see a new menu as well as a cool opening animation long press back for history for this feature you don't need to do enable any flag option simply long press on this back button and you can see your history and you can easily access all the previous sites which you have accessed earlier next is chrome gesture navigation if you want to swipe left or swipe right arrow icon in your chrome browser like this then you can so how you can enable this option simply search over scroll history navigation in the chrome flag section enable it and reload the google chrome browser and look at this how this feature works whenever you swipe left or right you can see a arrow icon and you can easily swipe back or swipe forward to the next page last but not the least dark mode i cannot explain this feature because i already make a separate video on this so you can watch video in this topic so guys these are some cool chrome flag settings so guys the list of the chrome flag setting is too long but we pick best chrome flag setting for you and all these flags are useful for a chrome user so apply all these flag on your chrome browser and this chrome flag setting make your google chrome a super browser so that's about the video guys and i hope you really enjoyed the video if you did enjoy the video please show your support by subscribing to our channel that's what really helps me out without being said my name is raj and i will see you the next time